Hi, this is uh, Riley Vincent. I'm back with, uh, this is a bit of a news update and I've been delaying making this video for a while because it's kind of, a, it's it's pretty heartbreaking and it's, it, it's about people dying and stuff. It's not really a good thing. Um, first of all, there was a Christina Grimm, the, the Orlando shootings and all that stuff, this is about the Orlando shootings. Um, Christina Grimm was killed. Uh, possibly a crime of passion, a fan obsessed with her, um, and uh, she was a talented vocalist on, on, the, on, the, on the show uh, uh, The Voice, and uh, it was just, uh, it was a, a senseless killing, and, and like, before we even have time, and like, and like, she, this kid, this death has been overshadowed by another killing that happened, that like, within like, the next day kind of thing, and uh, Oh yeah, and Marcus, I suppose, uh, important to note that Marcus was a hero because uh, he, he, uh, he saved, he tackled the, uh, the person with the weapon and, uh, and, and saved people by uh, stopping the violence immediately and being he was right there, he got right involved and somehow managed not to get shot himself and ended up saving a lot of people by um, engaging right away and not allowing them to do any more damage. So, um, alright, uh, and somehow the shooter killed himself through a mad scram, and we don't really know how this all went down, we just know that he ended up dying after that. Then, the next day, in the Orlando, uh, nightclub, uh, gay, gay nightclub, um, uh, Omar Mateen, uh, he, uh, a New York born, raised in Florida, Afghanistan family, a father of extremely religious beliefs and all that stuff. Um, there are uh, ideas that uh, uh, his girlfriend, Noor, had helped him scope out the place, drove him to the place and all that stuff. It's just it's just a really nasty thing. Uh, ooh, um, uh, so f 50 dead, uh, including the, uh, the gunman, uh, Omar Mateen. Ooh, just, 49 dead, uh, 53 injured, um, and using an assault rifle. I originally thought it was an AR-15, but uh, reports that they have been calling it Sig Sauer MCX. Yeah, the Sig Sauer MCX. And um, the police, usually I harp on the police, but in this case I got uh, hand it to the police. They did an excellent job in, in stopping the violence as soon as they could by having the controlled uh, explosions as a as a diversion to distract the, is distract them, and then they they, they went in and, and somehow got them. I'm not sure how that all went down. You got to remember that the security guards were armed, and it's unknown how many people were hit in the crossfire, because you know you're trying to aim, and there's people warning in front. Panic is happening. There's a lot of crazy stuff going down. During during the uh, he he had, he had another his other. Uh, his ex-wife had a relationship with her, with her, and he was very abusive and and kind of kind of kept her held in the house and all that stuff. So he wasn't really that good to women in general, let alone people who were uh, gay and all that stuff or, or trans or anything like that. And uh, so he, uh, he he claimed he was an ISIS supporter, but there's nothing really backing that other than he had the same ideology. So he freaking said, "All right, we're." we're Part of this whole group and all that stuff. Uh, hate terror, um, Andy Gray, um, hybrid. Oh, it was Latin. It was Latin night at the nightclub, and uh, a lot of uh, Spanish victims and all that stuff. So like a lot of Latin people and all that stuff were were the victims in this terror crime because it was that's what they were celebrating. Uh, um, uh, survivors they played dead. And uh, and texted outside to family and relatives and to uh, to to authorities and all that stuff. So like there was some there was some pretty neat heroism and they were able to a lot of people were able to escape and all that stuff. But it really is a shame. Um, it's one it's the deadliest mass shooting in in U.S. history. Uh, they. Uh, it's really it's really sad because like you you have like. Uh, the, the right-wing politicians and right-wing religious groups um, all like there's some there's even a uh, religious preacher that was uh, calling for more attacks which is so sickening and uh,
told me, like, where is the humanity? Like, like religions are supposed to care about, like, well, that's what they're supposed to, but they don't really, they only care about their religion and screw everyone else. What happened to Easter Island, the people, the Rapa Nui, the people over Easter Island, the, the Christians came in there, we settled it, and we totally, we almost wiped out their whole uh, society and etc. and just... Religion, well, religion was also responsible for the fall of Rome. Um, that when they when they destroyed the library, when they burnt down the library of Alexandria, um, religion is a very dangerous thing. It's because it, it, it gets people in masses, and then they just you know want to tear up everything apart. Um, this world we live in of intolerance. Uh, the reason to, uh, to like to they give us like they, they want people to hate each other and all that stuff and, and instead of like looking at the value and the beauty of like of like a lesbian relationship or a gay relationship or a trans relationship or they're, like they're they want us just they just see it as an abomination which is really scary because i don't really think of myself as an abomination there's so many beautiful trans girls out there that are not abominations they it's really funny when they talk about the trans people and the bachelor rights thing they always point out like the uh the the, 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 the like kind of like a version of me like with a beard and big thing like that like there's so many beautiful girls that is very dangerous for them to even think about going into a boys' washroom. It's like they would be. It, it just wouldn't be good. There's a lot of young trans girls too that would be under the same umbrella. And you guys think about what what they would go through. It's not just one sided. There's there's a lot of stuff to this. Um, oh, and it's really the hypocrisy of the right wing Christian lower like Republicans. Um, how they say uh, they're the laws denying rights of gay uh, humans, and saying that gay people don't have any rights, that we, they can't get married, they can't have jobs, uh, trans people can't use the bathrooms, etc. Like, there's just a lot of it. And, and then, then they're surprised when something like this, you, you're, you're, you're broadcasting on television that uh, trans people and gay people have no human rights. And, of course, someone is going to freaking say, well, they got no rights, we may as well attack them. Like, what do you, like, you guys think what you're doing here? You're totally freaking, you're, you're causing a fight within your own country. Uh, uh, how, how, uh, religion always picks on, on, on the, on the, on the female, uh, like especially in Muslim relations, where they they're, they're forced to clothe, cover themselves. Not only that, if they uh, have any sort of like outer marital sex or anything like that, they they can be stoned to death. Like just, I'm so thankful I don't live in a place like that. It must be horrible. I feel so sorry for anyone living in that sort of situation. It's religion is a big problem in the Christian and the Muslim freaking religions. Both of them are a huge problem in today's society when we're supposed to be above that. We're advancing technology supposedly in mind, but you wouldn't believe that but with all the freaking stuff, with the, with the way that the, they're trying to take rights away from women and stuff like that after they fought so hard for them, after years of being forced and like when people say that there's uh, there's no like uh there's no problem with that stuff but there's like sex trafficking groups that like deal in selling humans females as uh, as sex objects on the black market and it's actually selling people like think about that that's sickening um uh and, and, and the Christian thing, they also blame the woman for biting the apple, f f believing the devil, etc. like that, the snake and all that stuff, and all that BS. When at one point in like early Egypt and all that stuff where they were actually, it was, in, in many native things where the trans person is, was revered, and in ancient Egypt, they also had um, men would wear female attire and that would be a status thing because it was it was very, like beauty was much more respected especially in Greece Greece really respected beauty um, society uh, is also to blame here with the whole uh, 
uh, girls are only good to be in the kitchen and all that stuff like that, or like, go make me a sandwich, and you know, you hear all that stuff. Like, you, 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 like when you're playing online and like a girl kicks someone's ass and something, and you always hear them, go make a sandwich and something like that. That's just so much bullshit. Women are intelligent. You, you must remember being in school and stuff like that. And do you have girls versus boys? How many times have the boys lost to the team of all girls? It's happened a lot of times. But anyway, um, a lot of bullshit like that. Um, and then there's the whole um, assault rifle, the military. Like, I love I love military gear. I love military weapons. Just that for every human in, in the States to have one of these weapons is absolutely nuts. Um, there's a, That's a lot of firepower. And people are very emotional. People can go through hard times. They can lose their cool. They can lose everything, especially lose their friends. They feel like they have nothing. It, it, like, they can really, you can really go off the deep end and just want to hurt others because you're hurting so bad. You want to push that pain on others because you're hurting so much. Um, the, the, the military rifle that they used was a 5.56 or 223. You're not talking about, you're not talking to someone that doesn't know anything about weapons here. Uh, I, I, I may not have fired many weapons, but I've studied weapons all my life. And, uh, you have to come to the understanding that everyone, you can't have everyone armed. There's so many people, like, they, like there's so much things can go wrong, and it's very easy for people to snap and, and, and just want to hurt people, and it's, it's, it's just not good. Like, and like the, the, the rifles that they're using are like semi-automatic. And they, it's, semi-automatic is actually, it's better to be semi-auto than to fire fully auto because fully auto can use a recall, can make you miss a lot and all that stuff. So semi-auto is very dangerous. Um, the 5.56 does 2,000 feet per second, um, low recall, uh, magazine is straight in, extremely fast reload times. Um, uh, yeah, it's, so like the assault rifle thing is a bit of a problem. And I know that NRA, NRA people will hate me for this, but you guys should really reconsider your gun laws. Because there's way too much violence down there. You guys, it's every week. It, there was there was two shootings within two days in the same freaking state. And massive, like, high-profile shootings that were very bad. You should really reconsider your stuff. And maybe think that we should have more laws against this kind of thing. And don't be hating on people that you don't understand because you don't understand and you should just give love a chance and there's no reason to hate. Um, I guess that's it. I think I covered everything. Um, but yeah, uh, 